KHKT News Today. There is a famous artist from Provo, Utah who painted a very controversial piece of art of a depressed man sitting on a park bench. He is surrounded by all of the 43 presidents, and in the forefront, President Barack Obama with his back turned to him stepping on the United States Constitution. Now with the new American president, Donald Trump, he made a new painting and what a contrast of difference from the other. In this painting, you see the American people, different races, background professions surrounding the once depressed man who is now planting a tree, which could symbolize the tree of hope, and next to him is a woman and President Trump. The title is perfect of Trump's legacy you are not forgotten, because that's what he promised to the American people that he will fight for the average American middle class, and he will not forget them. His presidency of almost half a year has already shown his dedication to the people. Bringing jobs back to the people, getting rid of the dangerous Obamacare. Taking the fight to terrorism instead of paying them. This painting sums it all. Just like the painting of Obama. He said it himself that the Constitution has no meaning in his words. He has continuously ignored the laws of the Constitution, one of them being, bowing down to the enemies of the United States, which includes radical Islamists like ISIS, Taliban, North Korea and so on. He cared more about himself than helping the regular blue-collar Americans. He was a president of open borders which did not include immigrants who came to America legally. He supported terrorist groups in America known as Black Lives Matter instead of supporting the police. Via CBS Las Vegas Provo, Utah, CBS Las Vegas, in front of the White House a man is sitting on a park bench in the throes of depression. He is surrounded by all 43 presidents. In the forefront, purposefully ignoring the depressed man is President Obama, whose right foot is stepping on the Constitution. James Madison is next to Obama, pleading with him to stop. This tableau is called The Forgotten Man, a painting by John McNaughton, an artist who is known for his politically charged work. The painting, which uses objects such as discarded dollar bills as symbols and scraps of paper with individual constitutional amendments scrawled onto them, has been making the rounds across the Internet. The painting was initially released in 2010 and has resurfaced causing a stir when it appeared for a caption contest on MSNBC's Rachel Maddow's blog. The responses have ranged from sarcastic, we'll trade you this peasant for that constitution. We leave and throw in the bench. To Photoshop works of art. McNaughton released an accompanying YouTube screen share video for his painting. The video shows McNaughton painting the piece with a soundtrack that emulates a movie trailer. For a long time I didn't know if I wanted to paint this picture, because I worried it might be too controversial," McNaughton explains in a voiceover. T. His man, on the park bench, represents every man, woman, and child who is an American. He hopes to find the American dream of happiness and prosperity. But now because of unconstitutional acts imposed by the American people by our government we stand on the precipice of disasters," he added. McNaughton explained his position behind the painting. I don't place all the blame on Obama. On my website I try to explain what each president has done, he said. The thing I like about the painting is that it does get people talking. The painting has done well since it was released. It sold thousands, he told CBS Las Vegas. I sold many different sizes and editions, and now that we are in an election year I expect to sell more. This isn't the first time McNaughton waded into politically charged waters. Previously, he released One Nation Under God, a painting depicting Jesus holding the Constitution and judging several archetypes such as a liberal journalist, a smug college professor, and another archetype that McNaughton calls Mr. Hollywood. Originally from Arizona, McNaughton currently lives in Utah. He received a full scholarship to Brigham Young University. Initially he studied art, but switched to design later on. I hope my work will create conversation and reach people on a deeper level, he says on his website. I like to use metaphor and multiple levels of meaning to reach my viewer. If it makes them think and feel, then it is successful. He later added to CBS LV, I'm not trying to create an art style. I want to communicate my ideas.
Isn't that the purpose of art? Via Young Cons. The picture shows Trump crushing the head of a snake under his heel. The focus of the picture is the forgotten man in the center who is seeking to encourage a sprout to grow from the earth. That man is a focus of other McNaughton paintings. McNaughton's forgotten man theme coincides with Trump who touts a similar theme, that he is working in the White House for the forgotten Americans. Sarah Huckabee Sanders periodically reads letters during White House briefings from Americans to touch this sentiment. President Trump's America is the America that I grew up in, the America that I knew and love and it's good to see it come back, yes it's coming back with a fight but it is coming back. This artist's painting has described the two presidents perfectly in his art. 